think back across your entire career of doing this, what has been the biggest lesson learned, the thing that you've taken that really sticks in your mind as you are transforming companies? My point of view there is jaded in some ways. I was in really in the infrastructure but system, buildings, security system, or, or DevOps system. And what I found is sometimes those companies have an easier time transforming because they it's really their goal. They're delivering technologies. It's the very nature of who they are. It, it is the technology. Yeah. Now, to degree, so are we. We're a software company, yes. But the end goal is really to help people with their behavioral care. And we, we sell to an audience that really looking at a technology to solve a different problem than if you're buying, let's say, a storage system or you're buying a security system where you aren't hard on engineering yourself. Well, here we sell to two very different audiences. So I think the tech companies are sometimes often in, in a better position there. In terms of more traditional companies, I think in order to have a successful digital transformation, you really need somebody with company with a strong vision. Yeah. Somebody who can connect the business context to the technology in a way that you don't embark on a full serend of using the latest technologies and framework just because they look cool, automation to build a system that may not be what your, your customer needs, yet be connected enough to the technology world to understand what the needs of your company's customers will be in five to 10 years down the road. And as part of any strategy and or, or any transformation uh, like that, which is large scale will impact the future business of the company. Sometimes one of the most important thing to be able to identify is what, what you shouldn't do. Figuring out what to do is is hard enough, but figuring out what you're going to leave behind, what you implicitly would exclude from your effort is very important so that you can you can focus your, your team. Yeah, it's kind of the, the anti-vision <laughs> instead of, of the vision itself. Right. And then certainly it's very important to understand, do you have the right talent in-house in order to do that or not? Do you need to hire that talent? Or more importantly, sometimes you, as your primary business might be focused on you know, financial service or healthcare or whatever you, uh, to be able to partner with firms that can bring you up to date, can come in, can listen to your business context, and then guide you in the selection of tools or the technology uh, choices that you have to make and even provide a team that can get you started or help you build your team or be a partner for the long term. This company specifically, and one of the companies that was acquired and, and became part of the Qualifax family as partner with Crime TSR very successfully to get out of difficult problems and get to very innovative solutions and a very good implementation that we would be relying on for years to come. I love it. It's so funny when I when I think about the question itself, it's so rooted in like, hey, what, what's the biggest lesson? We we think about it from a technology perspective. And what you, what I'm hearing is it's it's honestly it's less about the technology. It's more about just having that that vision, that north star. I imagine too, it, it also it motivates your people. The mission certainly is, and, and engineers and technology people will yes, they get very excited about the various framework and various technologies they can apply. That's their trade. But understanding how it's applied and understanding that in the end, they're delivering value to somebody, form of a customer is very important. 